Hi there, welcome to my channel. Back in the month of May, I decided to upgrade my daily driver microphone. So I used the Maono GM30, the microphone you see in my hands, for over six months. And don't get me wrong, it's a really good microphone, especially for what I was using it for, mainly for voiceovers and the occasional stream. And I just checked the price a few minutes ago, and it's still under $25. So it's a really good deal still. And at such a bargain, this thing is feature packed. There's a headphone jack right there built into the microphone. So if you want to monitor through this, this acts as its own sound card. So that's awesome. There's RGB lights on the side, as well as a volume knob that works as a mute button. And if you twist that, you can actually increase or decrease your microphone gain on the fly. And that's amazing for something that's under 25 bucks. So if you want to know more about that microphone, click that card above and you'll see my full review. You'll see my full video about the Maono GM30. But as I mentioned earlier in this video, it was time for an upgrade so i wanted to move on from this microphone and i actually upgraded to one of the blue brand microphones but i didn't do the typical full-size blue yeti because in my opinion i think they're humongous so i ended up purchasing a blue yeti nano it's basically a smaller version of the blue yeti so it has the nice solid build the blue yeti has as well as good sound quality but in a much smaller package and this is one of the main reasons why i purchased the nano model because i didn't want a huge blue yeti just on my desk or floating around in my room on my adjustable boom because I'm the type of person who's going to keep this microphone out all the time and I'll hardly ever store it or put it back in its box. So I'm going to get this off its boom and I'll put it on the stand that it actually was packed in with. So as I get the last of the knobs in, I read somewhere that the Blue Yeti Nano is actually easier to put in the stand and remove from the stand in comparison to the Blue Yeti. So if you're a Blue Yeti owner, let me know in the comments below if that's true or not, because this was actually really easy to put on and put in. So let me know if it's true or not, if the Blue Yeti is hard to put in its stand. But first off, with the Nano, there's a nice weight to the microphone. And I mentioned this earlier, it feels very solid. It's housed really nicely. And in addition to the size, one of the main reasons why I picked up the Nano is because they came in a variety of unique colors. And I opted for the Cubano Gold version. I really wanted that crimson red one, but I ended up picking the gold. So to add on to the reasons why I chose a Nano over a traditional Blue Yeti is that I wanted a really simplified version as well too. Because looking at the traditional Blue Yeti microphone, I don't really need most of its features. And and everything that I do need was on the Nano. And price comparison wise, there's a $30 difference. So if that's a major factor for any of you out there watching this video, it's a bit easier on the wallet. So this is about $99 and a traditional Blue Yeti is like $129. And then that super upgraded version, the Blue Yeti X, I believe, is like $199. Anyway, the only features that I needed were cardioid and omnidirectional polar patterns. And conveniently, the Nano has a button on the back that lets you select those patterns on the fly and in short cardioid means that sound is picked up mostly from the front of the microphone so that's where the sensitivity lies and that's pretty much all I need for voiceovers because it's just gonna be me and I'm just gonna be recording myself and I'll do an occasional stream or gaming commentary but anyway the second polar pattern that this microphone has is an omnidirectional pattern which picks up everything in like 360 degrees so it picks up everything around the entire mic the front the back the sides I know there's mics out there with three patterns and the traditional Blue Yeti has four polar patterns, but I just really need the cardioid pattern because that's what I'm going to be doing most of the time. Use the front of the mic and capture my voiceovers. But going on to the front of the microphone, it's really simple. And I guess the theme for this video is simplicity. So you have a mute button and it functions as a volume knob as well. But it's the volume for the headphones that you plug into this microphone. So in a sense, this microphone has its own sound card so you can monitor through there. And so it's basically independent from the computer sound card. Lastly, underneath the microphone, there's the 3.5 millimeter headphone track that I just mentioned for monitoring. And it says it's lag free, but it's really not. There's like a slight delay. So when you try to monitor through that method, you can still hear maybe a millisecond delay and it's kind of distracting if you're not really used to that kind of delay anyway and a micro usb port to connect it to the computer and the only gripe here is that they don't use a usb-c and the center hole was actually used for the mount and they're nice enough to actually throw in a 5 8 inch adapter so that it can fit most mounts and as you saw earlier i was using that on my boom arm so moving on to the sound quality of this microphone and fun fact here's a plot twist this is actually a cake <laughs> just kidding it's not a cake 
<laughs> I love those memes right now. But anyway, this whole entire voiceover was done on the Blue Yeti Nano. So that test is actually out of the way. And my settings that I had it at. Oh, and speaking of settings, one of the other only gripes that I have and I know a lot of other people have the same gripe, is that you actually have to use the Blue Sherpa app on your laptop, computer, whatever it is, to actually adjust the mic gain. So if I had a word in designing this mic, I'd rather have a knob before the mic gain rather than before headphone monitoring. But the settings I have it at are about 75% up, and it's set to the cardioid polar pattern, and my face is about six inches away from the microphone, and I'm using a pop filter as well as a windscreen, so here's a pic of what I look like right now. But with that said, I mentioned that I'm primarily going to use this for voiceovers, occasional streams, gaming commentary, and for those rare moments when I post some sort of song cover. So let's test this out with my trusty, dusty ukulele, and let's sing into the mic, since y'all have heard what a voiceover sounds like like I'm gonna do a little song cover for you two one ooh, ooh, ooh. I know I took the path that you would never want for me I know I let you down the so many sleepless nights where you were waiting up on me Well, I'm just a slave unto the night So I, I bet my life, bet my life, bet my life on you If you want the full version, I'm going to upload it in a couple of days But this is what the mic sounds like I love it, I love this mic, I love this microphone Okay, bye so that was a snippet of my cover, and if I'm motivated enough, I'll upload the full version by the weekend. And I'm also on my webcam, so if you're wondering why the video quality got slightly worse, that's the reason why. So, <laughs> but there you go. That was my little vocal slash instrument test for the Blue Yeti Nano. And I'm continuing the voiceover by using the mic, and overall, this is the perfect mic, and you can see my windscreen on it. But anyway, size, features, and build, I enjoy every aspect of it. And if you have any microphone or audio related questions, I actually have a pretty decent background in this stuff. So feel free to contact me by commenting down below or find me on Instagram at wowvgsltr, just the same name as my YouTube channel. So before I end this video, I have a bit of a funny story, kind of going over the growth of my channel so as i said earlier i'm always open to people asking me questions about sound stuff tech things gaming whatever that you see me do on my channel and more and more people are starting to find me on instagram they tend to ask me general questions about those things so i was helping a viewer out and they were deciding on which mic to get and coincidentally it involves the two microphones that you see or that i mentioned in this video and i helped this person through ig and near the end of the conversation they reply with wait how do i know that it's you and not a fake and i reply with i'm flattered i'm still a small channel on youtube but not that popular popular but not that popular enough to speak well or to have people faking and i just wanted to share that little story because there is some growth that's happening on my channel and i just want to thank everyone out there for all of the support for all of the kindness and for those of you especially those of you that watch my videos regularly as well as those new viewers who just came today found me today and made it this far surprisingly you guys are making it to the end of the video so i appreciate all of that so with all of that said feel free to comment me down below or message me on instagram whatever it is i'll always find time to reply well eventually <laughs> i'll reply back to you but if you enjoyed this video make sure to check out these other videos they've probably popped up all around me by now and they may interest you in some way also if you really liked hanging out with me today consider subscribing to be the first to know when i upload something new or even go live on a stream i'll see everybody soon my glasses keep falling <laughs> stay safe out there bye